In this mini clip, we'll be discussing the transformation of functions, focusing on the stretch. While we answer this question together, you will be solving the similar problem on your own, using the same technique. Okay, so we're asked to use the function f of x as shown to sketch the curve 4 times f of x over 2. So here we have our graph of f of x. From this graph, we are going to apply our various transformations. The first transformation we're going to focus on is this 4. So we need to draw a second graph. This graph will be titled 4 f of x. Now remember, f of x replaces our y variable when we're dealing with functions. So 4 times f of x can be expressed as 4 times y. So what we essentially want to do for this graph is we want to multiply all our y values in our graph of f of x by 4. So let's just focus on the max and min values. So in our graph of f of x, the maximum y value is 1, and the minimum y value is negative 1. For our new graph, our maximum value will have to be 1 times our 4, which will be positive 4, and the minimum value for our y will be negative 1 times 4, which will be negative 4. So what we are actually doing is we're vertically stretching this graph of f of x by a factor of 4. Our new graph will look similar to this. So we're vertically stretching our graph of f of x by a factor of 4. Okay, so we know our maximum value will be 4 and our minimum value will be negative 4. Now I want you to try to apply the vertical stretch onto your curve in your question. In your graph, your maximum y value will be 2 and your minimum y value will be negative 2. So now going back to our question, we now need to apply our last transformation, x over 2. So once again, we're going to draw another graph. This graph will be titled 4f of x over 2. Because this graph has the 4, so the vertical stretch, we're going to want to apply our last transformation based from this graph here. So x over 2 is going to cause our f times f of x graph to horizontally stretch by a factor of 2. So to imagine this, if we were to grab the end of this graph right here and this end, and then we're going to, if we were to pull in opposite directions, this graph will then be horizontally stretched. If you notice, we have a repeating shape here. This shape is repeated one, two, three, four times. If we are horizontally stretching this graph by a factor of two, in our new graph, we will have less repeating shapes. We will only have two repeating shapes. So our new graph will look something similar to this. I'm going to go up, down, up, and then down again. So once again, we have one repeating shape and the second repeating shape. Again, our maximum value will be 4, because we're transforming this graph, and our minimum value will be negative 4. And this is our final graph. I now want you to try to apply this horizontal stretch to your graph. Your final graph should look similar to this. 